guys, and welcome to your, what month is it? I almost said January and December, March 2020. This is going to be the what? Excuse me while I lube the lips. That probably didn't sound right. March 2020. Hmm. It's going to be the what aren't they telling you for the beautiful sign of Virgo. Hey, Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Can you hear me? As you guys know, you can't hear me. You say, I don't got my stuff together. I always know what energy is doing what, too, because the Virgos come on and they instantly get to telling you what you need to do to improve your channel. Is uh, You know who says that a lot? Aquarians <laughs> and Virgos. So funny. The Aquarians are so visual. If I, like, fidget with my hair. Marv, you're cute. You're beautiful. But could you stop fidgeting with your hair so much? Honey, you, you're making it seem like the camera is, is, your, is your mirror. That's so funny to me. And I say to myself, you're very critical for a person who's getting free content. I don't work on your network. You guys remember the YouTube slogan, broadcast yourself? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> So, you know, I hate to be rude and tell people what the obvious answer is, but, you know, it's so much flavor on YouTube. It's just like music. If you don't like rock, then go to classical. You don't like classical, you don't just find your niche. Virgos, you always be like, you need to turn up your volume. Well, the video is already published. It's not like I can go to the radio and just cut it on. <laughs> I'll be like... Well, if you can't cut it up on your end, I'm sorry. It's just so funny. I can always tell. Working with you guys' energy and being an astrology junkie like I am, I can always tell. This is going to be the what aren't they telling you for the beautiful sign of Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We're going to be finding out what happened to you this past week. I'm incorporating a new oracle deck, the Quantum Oracle. Okay? The Quantum Oracle. We are going to be finding out what happened and we're going to be finding out. Yes, I'm doing my fidget. We're going to be finding out what in this Oracle deck influenced the behaviors that went on this week. Show me for Virgo and their person. All right. Great gratitude. Conscious. The energy of consciousness. So the conscious um, suit, which is taking you from a great gratitude. So you guys, I, I mean, that's pretty good energy. Great gratitude. So you're showing your gratitude and thankful. Okay, thank you. Thankful for the opportunities that this lifetime has presented you with. And here is the three of wands. There's been some planning. Let's find out what's going on behind this gratitude. Thank you, spirit. The sun, Leo energy. Hey, fifth house. There we go. Look at that up there, though. Oh, we, I love it. The sun, happiest card of the deck. We have judgment in the heart of the matter. We have, okay, justice. You almost going to have all major arcana libra energy is here okay what else do we have spirit there's beautiful oh faith i'm lost is it even really my fault i don't know if it's supposed to be hard if it's really meant to be her faith okay i'm sorry i've been having musical tourettes all week if I, if I see a word, I'm singing it to you. Just roll with me, okay? Faith. Faith. Now, I'm going to check on this and see what faith... Oh, I got to open this box. I honestly thought, think that faith is uh, the hair font. It is in this deck. New deck, Legacy of the Divine Tarot. Okay. This Queen of Wands is on it this week let's get your romance angel oracle card so there is a lot of happiness there's been a bit of a rebirth there's gonna be justice there's faith i mean happiness 
judgment, justice, faith, and planning. You can't get no better than that. Let's find out what's going on. Okay? That's good. You may be one of the best readings this week. You guys had the best week ever. I would love to say that. And I would love to see you get your views up. Oh, oh. Oh no, is that deception? You tarnish that whole thing. I'm not going to even until I get your oracle, uh, your oracle cards. Someone is wearing a false self mask. I don't like it. You got beautiful energy, great gratitude. Person has great consciousness. It's safe for you to love. Everything is on the up and up. What is going on with this damn, this mask, Virgo? God. It was almost a perfect reading. Show me, spirit. Show me, spirit. Show me. Two popped out. Unrequited love and let your friends help you. How is this unrequited love? All right, let's clarify. Clarify deception. Clarify deception for me, please. Two popped out. Um, we have the Four of Swords, quietly preparing, moving away and planning. Was that the only card? Um, wow. It is safe for you to love is being clarified by the King of Cups. Interesting. Clarify, let your friends help you is the Six of Swords, moving out of stormy water and some more calmer water unrequited love unrequited love is being clarified by the six of coins two sixes indicates an apology an apology hmm Let's find out what you guys are apologizing about. I don't know. It was looking good. So there is some deception and some unrequited love here. Show me spirit. Blowing bubbles. Fun loving, bubbly, manifesting, embracing the moment, airy flowing, being in the now. That's a very mutable energy type card. Show me spirit for Virgo and their partner. Uh-oh, taking out the trash. Dumping that loser, cutting ties, emotional clearing, self-love, spring cleaning, and healing. Well, that explains it. This is someone trying to come back, and you're putting the kibosh on that. Virgo, you're not having it. Two popped out. Cool with whatever. Being chill, trusting the process, making decisions, living in the now, casual, and no commitment. Well, this is you taking your power back. You're done with this. Girl with the popcorn, going out, excess, escapism. So you're going out with your friends. That's this let your friends help you. You possibly went on a girl trip. That's journey over water, letting your friends help you. Oh my God. So basically this week was the culmination of an ending. It's over. Top of the deck shows that this person got friend zoned and they're trying to come back. You make them very happy, okay? Um, they're planning the comeback. You made them very happy. They're, the judgment is telling them that they need to fight for this. Um, I see justice here, um, and then they're trying to have faith, okay? They're trying to have faith, but uh, it looks like you're done. Your energy is very much done with this. You're not really feeling it right now. You don't want to be mean and rude, but you're done with this. You're done with it. I think I'm going to pull you a self-care card, too. All right, happiness, relationships. Um, it looks like you've been taking stock at how what you attract into your life. Indecision. You did stay as long as you could. 
failure. The relationship is a failure. Some of these cards somebody else got. I don't remember which one. Um, probably Aquarius, I remember. Um, there was a failure, and that's an opportunity to learn. You, This is you trying to clear that energy and bring into balance this unrequited love by taking stock in the energy that you put out there when you're attracting people in to, to, for a relationship, okay? You are aware right now about your happiness. I feel like this is what they're trying to do, but I feel your energy coming through. Maybe you did have some levels of indecision, but that's coming to a close. I am going to do a self-care oracle on you since you are going through this um, before I get the angel answer because I want to see what it's going to guide you to do because you are having to take stock right now. You're expressing great gratitude in your consciousness to have loved at all. You're handling this separation very very um i would say very adult very 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 much adult okay very much adult i'm proud of that virgo that's very nice because that's hard for a person to do especially when you are admitting here that you have attracted the wrong person um but you're at this point you're trying to just be chill and down for whatever and you're done with this, though. Give me a self-care card for Virgo this month since this week has been so rough for them and they have broken up. Show me self-care card. Okay, all right, all right. All right, well, you are already going out with your friends. You're being guided to do a beauty ritual. A beauty ritual maybe will take the edge off, okay? I'm actually going to be incorporating these self-care cards into um, the monthly readings that I'm going to upload. But I am going to do that for you right now. You have the card number five, and that is a beauty ritual, okay? Whatever makes you feel like you're manifesting your most beautiful self is worth putting the energy toward. Your mantra, Virgo, to take, help take the edge off this energy is I am beautiful inside and out. Plan a beauty ritual that feels sacred and indulgent. Set an intention for your ritual and stay mindful in the state throughout the process. Um, I want you guys to understand that if your thoughts and, and distraction, if other thoughts and distractions enter your awareness, gent gently let them go and redirect your focus back on yourself to help you get through this, okay? Um, by being intentional, you can turn a face mask, the application of makeup, or even something as simple as your daily shower into a sacred experience, okay? I'll show you that card again. It also says beyond that, look for ways that you can create time and space that have beauty, that have special beauty treatment. Consider how you can adorn your body to express your unique essence. For example, tie-dye dye your hair a funky color, wear new jewelry, or perhaps get a tattoo. I was just about to say get a tattoo. For some of you guys, that's definitely what you need to do. Um, what can you do? What could you do to make your daily beauty, beauty, uh, beauty routine feel more sacred? I am beauty, beautiful inside and out. That's your self-care um, oracle card guidance. Okay, let's go ahead and get the angel answers. Um, I'm probably going to name it I Am Beautiful Inside and Out. You're taking out the trash. No, maybe I'll just call it taking out the trash. But uh, I'm sorry to hear that you're doing that, okay? You're taking out the trash, though, Virgo. Um, and I've been encouraging you because I've been seeing the same narrative the past couple of month, uh, weeks now. Um... I don't understand, but it must be just people cutting ties everywhere. I don't, I don't communicate clearly is what I'm showing. Show me. You have such beautiful cards up here. Recovery, absolutely. Recovery. That's definitely what's going on. 
and within the next few weeks. You will recover from this situation within the next few weeks. Top of the deck is a year from now, you will be completely healed, but you will begin to recover in the next couple of weeks. But a year from now, you will be feeling fine this time next year. Um, and I personally feel like you um, are taking out the trash, okay? Like, share, and subscribe uh, to The Marvelous Tribe. You are taking out the trash with great gratitude. I like that. Um, that's a really good mindset to be in. I don't know how you're doing it. Um, and you're trying to stay positive, you know? Um, and it's working, okay? So, I am going to leave you with taking out the trash and let you know that I am very proud of the way that you're handling it and I want you to take care of yourself. I also want you to show yourself some grace, okay, um, Virgo? This was a very cathartic type reading. I hope that it resonated with you guys this week and I hope you can hear me. I will see you guys next week when we do it again. Bye, Virgo.